Academia is full of very specific conventions or ways of doing things. Many of these haven't changed for a very long time and learning what they are will help you improve your writing and other parts of your work. Let's have a look at some of these conventions now and how they work to improve your writing. Firstly, complexity. Written language is grammatically more complex than spoken language. It has more subordinate clauses, more complement clauses, more long sequences of prepositional phrases, more ad attributive adjectives, and more passives than spoken language. Pause the video and have a look at this table. Note the differences in the spoken language and the written language. When we write, we use much shorter sentence structures than when we're speaking, even when we're saying the same things. Formality. Academic writing is also normally rather formal. In general, this means in an essay you should avoid colloquial terms such as stuff, a lot of, thing, sort of, and any kinds of abbreviations like can't, doesn't, shouldn't. You should also avoid asking questions. An essay should answer questions, not ask them. Precision. In academic writing, you need to be precise when you use information, dates or figures. Don't write a lot of people when you can say five million people. Objectivity. This means that the main emphasis should be on the information you want to give and the arguments you want to make, rather than on you and your opinion. Explicitness. Academic writing is explicit in two main ways. It's explicit in its signposting of the organization of ideas in the text. As an academic writer, it's your responsibility to make it clear to your reader how various parts of the text are related. These connections can be made explicit using different signaling words. You also need to be explicit in where ideas have come from by using references and citations. Accuracy. Accuracy is a very important part of academic writing. You need to ensure that you are accurate in a number of different ways. Firstly, in the use of your vocabulary. Don't confuse, for example, words like meeting, assembly, gathering or conference or money, cash, currency, capital or funds. They sound similar, but they all have rather different meanings and the context can even change that meaning further. You also need to be accurate in your use of grammar and the presentation of your work throughout. Hedging. An important feature of academic writing is the concept of cautious language, often called hedging or vague language. Hedging is used to show your stance on a particular subject or the strength of the claims you're making. Take a look at my video that's specifically about hedging to help you with this. Responsibility. Finally, and most importantly, in academic writing, you are responsible for demonstrating an understanding of the source text. You must also be responsible for and must be able to provide evidence and justification for any claims that you make. This is done by paraphrasing and summarising what you read and acknowledging the source of information or ideas using referencing and citation. By following these conventions, you will improve your writing and other work and you'll see your grades soar.